everybody. Alright, this was a requested video and it is a what's in my teacher bag. Um, first of all, if you're new to my channel, I am a first year teacher. I teach fifth grade English language arts and that is like writing and reading and I also teach social studies. Um, so that is just kind of a quick update if you've never seen any of my um, videos before. Did I say I was a first year teacher? If not, first year teacher. And um, I also have four kids of my own. They are in ninth grade and seventh grade, fifth grade, and second grade. Um, so anyways, okay, I'll get started on my teacher bag. So my teacher bag is just this large um, tote style bag. It's a little bit larger than like a normal tote you would carry every day. Um, but not a lot. It has two shoulder straps and then it also has the um, longer strap if needed. I will just start on the inside of my bag. It has a zipper pocket and then it has two pockets over here that don't have any zippers or anything. So I'll just start with those. Um, in the two pouches or pockets, whatever you want to call them, um, that don't have zippers. One of them, I just keep this. It says Moody's. I got it at Walmart and it just keeps feminine products in it. So I can just grab it, um, if something happens and run to the restroom and it just looks like I'm carrying a wallet or something. So no one's really, you know, wondering what I'm doing in my, um, other open pocket. I keep, um, Excedrin extra strength in there for headaches. Um, so I do get a lot of headaches and sometimes that's the only kind of medicine that will work or do the trick. All right, and I'll go to the other um the other the zipper portion of my bag. Um okay, so I have Jolly Ranchers and just pins and an airhead. I, I don't know. I don't even know why this is in here because I don't even like this flavor. Probably um, one of my kids or something. Um, pretty much that, that, lots of Jolly Ranchers. So a lot of times there's hard candy in there or gum. Um, I will have miscellaneous pins, paper clips, binder clips. It kind of just depends. Um, I'll, let's go deep in here first. I have, um, just a little notebook. I have a lot of these. I, if you've watched any of my other videos, you see that I have I lots of, like not small ones like this, but just different little journals that I'll grab for a quick meeting or if I'm sitting at desk to jot down something. Um, so I usually almost always have one in my bag so that way I can take notes if I need to, grab it and run to a meeting, that sort of thing. Um, here, I'm just going to set it to the side. It'll be a little bit easier that way. Um, next, I have just this, um, like, accordion-style file folder. Um, so, in it, it has tons of spots and spaces. Some of them I don't use right now. It doesn't have a lot. But I have different tabs, like English AM, um, Reading AM, Social Studies AM, Reading PM, Social Studies uh, PM, uh, I, don't, I can't even see what that says. Copies, um, file, office, different things. So I just take works, or not works, work out of my turn in bins and put it in here. And I keep it separated um, for like my morning class and my afternoon. So that way it's easier for me to grade and pass back and things like that. So right now I just have. Um, some work from my English morning class to grade and some um, reading for my morning class. I have plenty more. I don't think I emptied my bins um, today at all. I don't think so. Anyways, so sometimes this thing is like stuff full and other times it doesn't have much in it, but I pretty much keep it in here unless I'm like passing um, the back. I'll just set this to the side so I can get out the rest easier. 
Next is my um, lesson plan book. I call it like my teaching Bible. I take it pretty much every meeting that we have um, and have it with me because it has a lot of stuff in it. I'm still debating how I'm going to use this next year because it's kind of heavy. Um, it has a lot of stuff in it, so I don't know if I want to do something different next year or if I want to use the same one. Um, I might do like a more... Um, comprehensive type of video that talks about this more in depth if you're curious um but I got this off of um teachers pay teachers but anyway so in mine I have um like my daily schedule I have my homeroom class roster my afternoon class roster a place for meeting notes I have a spot for a calendar and it has like our district calendar it has um our specials like when we're doing report cards um, and then it has like a month by month just a quick glance and this is where I keep like faculty meetings or um, IEP meetings or PLCs or parent teacher conferences important like testing dates that thing I keep it usually on this at a glance and I also usually keep it on an online thing but this is just something I can easily look at then it has a spot for weekly lesson plans um, and also like it has a My Busy Day template. Then I have for IEPs. And I keep my IEP information for my students in here. And this, I, this is a blank one, but this says IEP overview. And it just gives me a short um, page that I could fill out for accommodations, modifications, um, notes, things like that. So that way when I'm lesson planning, I can look back and know who I need to be modifying for or, you know, how can I differentiate for um, specific students. Then it has like my small group information, student data, and um, just like um, our testing information. Then it has our RTI, which keeps like our testing information, like when we're benchmark testing, student growth reports, and then also has like our district curriculum. I have a tab that says curriculum and it has all of our state standards back here printed. So that way when I'm lesson planning, I can just look and make sure that I'm hitting the standards that I need to hit. Um, and then over here is, it just varies. If we have professional development, I'll throw something in there um, that they've given us and you know, that kind of thing. So like I said, it's kind of my everything. A lot of teachers have separate like lesson plan books and calendars or student data binders, but I decided I just wanted to keep it all in one because I had in the beginning of the year, I started off with just like a planner and I found myself like going to a meeting, but then I needed the data. You know what I mean? So it was kind of like, well, if I just keep everything all in one, when I'm there, I can write in the calendar. I can look up student data um, and lesson plan, just kind of have it if I need it. So this is my planner. It's in there unless we're at school, then it's usually sitting on my small group table. So that way I can easily look at my plans or um, if my administration came in and wanted to see my plans. I usually have um, some kind of another journal like this. This one I is the one I've been pretty much using all year. If I grab it for a meeting or take it with me, um, I just put in like whatever they get, like a handout they gave us. This one is the one I do my seating chart in, and um, I can look back and um, see how I had them seated. You know, a while ago before I did the seating chart and use it kind of to make sure that people aren't constantly sitting by each other or who worked and who didn't work by each other. Um, and then I keep this in here. And usually a parent gave this to me in the beginning of the year. She gave me this big tote in the beginning of the year, had extra supplies, um, this planner, um, like paper towels, just anything. It was just this big tote. I thought it was awesome, but I like this because you know, the small little calendars that can fit in your wallet. It was bigger than that, but still super, I mean, it's super thin. So, I can just grab this um, and if I'm at a meeting and I don't have my big planner, I can just write in a quick date because sometimes we'll just have a quick meeting um, and so I'll just grab one of those small journals and this, and, but then when we're in there, someone will remind us like, oh, well, don't forget this date or don't forget that. So I'll write it in here and then kind of transfer it all over um, to my calendar when I get back into my classroom. 
Okay, so um, I also keep a small umbrella. This one just has like a cover. It's very compact. I try to keep it in my bag at all times because oh, I'm famous for leaving my umbrella in the car. So it will be pouring outside and my umbrella is in the car and that doesn't mean no good. So if it's in my teacher bag, um, it, before I'm walking out the door, I can grab it. Um, and use it. So it's pretty much always in there since it's just so small and compact. Um, I also keep just this makeup bag um, and it just has like powder, um, foundation, mascara, chapstick, just kind of like the very basics of what I wear every day. And this is kind of in there for one if I need a quick touch up and maybe I don't have like my purse with me, or maybe I ran out of the house and didn't finish all my makeup, then I could do it in the car, like before I go into school, or when I go into school, do it there. Um, just kind of like, it's my emergency, and I just like to have it, you just never know. Like today I did my mascara at school, because I wasn't really running late, but I wanted to get to school earlier than I did, and I knew we had a meeting, so I was just like, you know, I'm not going to do my mascara, I'll do that, like, while we're talking or at some point. So I just did that in the morning. And let me put that there. Um, let's see. And then I have a pencil bag um, in here. Actually, don't judge. Right now, I have two. But we'll talk about that in a second. Um, this is the main one that I keep with me almost all the time. Every once in a while, I'll leave it on my desk at school or I will leave it at home. Um, but this has some of my favorite pens in it. So I don't like to have those out on my desk because I've noticed they come up missing. Um, so that's one reason I have my own kind of pencil bag. Plus I mentioned I have four children. So at home, you know, my desk will be stocked with supplies and then I'll go in my office to like grade or do something and I can't find scissors or I can't find a pencil. So I just made my own pencil bag. So I carry it back and forth. Um, like I said, the majority of the time. And in here I have obviously um, pens and pencils and highlighters galore. I have just a small pair of scissors. This is kind of my uh, emergency set. Like if I needed to cut laminating or if we're doing some kind of craft and I'm at home, I'll usually make a sample so they kind of see what it's supposed to look like. I keep post-its so that way if we're in a meeting or if I just need to, I'll, I have my post-its. I have a small um, stapler because like I said, at home, my staplers, my tape, it always comes up missing. have no clue where it goes. Sometimes I move it on myself. I'm not going to lie. It's not always my kids. Um, but this, and then if we're in a meeting, they give us something I can staple. I also keep just an extra pack of staplers in, or staples in here just in case. Um, I keep uh, like these little um, post-it tabs for like curriculum guides or if I was working on like a read aloud I could mark it um, and you know jot down a note of like stop here and ask questions or something like that. Um, I keep white out, a glue stick, and then oh there it is. I'll talk about um, this. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm recording. Um, what I was saying before, I don't even know if I talked about it. I'm confused. Uh, my husband came in and was talking to me, and then he, he surprised me and bought me a pop. Um, anyways, so in my um, zipper bag, I usually keep my um, flash drive. It used to have like a little handle so I could put it on a keychain or something, but it broke off. And so I usually just throw that in here, and that way I have it if I need to um, put something on it or uh, take something off and put it on my computer at school. Never know, so it's always in there. So this bag pretty much has, um, like I said, all kinds of stuff. It's pretty big. I could probably use without everything in there, but you know, it's not gonna hurt me to have extra pins either. So, um, like I said, right now, don't judge, I have two. This one doesn't have as much stuff. And I started out with one, this one, when I was student teaching, I think, and I used it a lot. Um, and then I found this bag, liked it better, plus it was bigger. And so sometimes I end up with both of them in my bag. 
Um, but usually one of the, like this one sometimes is at home, um, sometimes it's at high school, but it just, you never know. So I'm going to leave that one here right now. And um, let's see, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and then um, my, uh, my tablet. Sometimes it's in here, sometimes it's not. It just depends. Sometimes I take it to school. This is my personal um, tablet. So it just depends if I'm planning on using it at school for any reason um, or what. I've been using it lately at school for different things. Um, but it's not always in here, but it is right now. And besides my... Um, Besides my umbrella and like, you know, the stuff in my little pouches, it's, it's empty because I set it all aside so I could dig through it. But that's pretty much what's in my teacher bag. It's really not, um, that super exciting or anything. I carry this bag back and forth, um, to school like 90% of the time, um, some days, if I know there's just, I'm not even planning on grading. I don't plan on doing any lesson planning. I don't even think I want to think about school. Um, I'll leave it at school. But those are the days I swear when I get home, I'm like, man, I should check on this. Or um, I should have graded or something. But most days I carry it back and forth. Because you just never know. Most of, like... Um, all of my students' grades and, like, student data and things like that, I can get online at home. So if a parent had asked me something or um, anything, I could just pull it up online and see how they did, like, on their last benchmark. So the student data and things, it doesn't really benefit me from carrying it back and forth. But lesson planning um, is useful to have with me. That's why I said I don't know if I'm going to go to just a regular, like, Aaron Condren type of planner to lesson plan in and then have a student data binder at school. Um, I don't, I don't know. What do you think I should do? Leave me a comment down below. That sounded like thunder. Sorry. I don't know. I don't think we're supposed to get storms. Um, so leave me a comment down below. What do you do? Do you have like a separate planner for just what you lesson plan in and how you like keep track of like important dates at school? And um, do you have like a student data binder? Do you have something similar to mine? Um, I got my, mine off teachers pay teachers and I will go more in depth later, um, on and like show you more of what it looks like inside and how the layout is and all of that. So, um, anyways, this is what is in my teacher bag for the moment. I also at school, I have a rolling cart, um, and I leave that at school most of the time unless we, it's like a weekend or I know I'm going to be bringing a lot of stuff from home or if I know I'm taking a lot of stuff from school home, um, like if it's a weekend or we have a big break and I know I'm going to take home like our curriculum guides to like lesson plan with those, I will um, bring the rolling cart home. And then I also um, have this big duffel bag and... It's the same thing, it has the shoulder straps, long straps. It's really big, like it's kind of like a weekend type duffel bag. And I got that, actually my best friend bought it for me to match my smaller bag. Um, and I use that sometimes if I'm carrying a lot of stuff from home, like if I went to Target and got a lot of stuff from the dollar spot or um, like if I know I'm gonna take my laminator to school, that kind of thing, I use that bag. So um, give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see. Leave a comment down below. Um, tell me if there's something you think I should carry in my teacher bag or should get rid of. Let me know about your planning situation. Like, what do you think I should do next year? Because I'm just not really sure. Um, and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. And I look forward to uh, talking to you. Request any videos because this was a requested video, the teacher bag. Um, so thanks for watching.